Our next speaker is Dasturji Khurshed Dastur, Kekobad Dastur. Um, I earlier in the morning asked him why there are three Dasturjis in his name, and he explained that to me. Um, as Dr. Uh, um, as Sudhinder Kulkarniji said, he is head priest at Sri Park Iran Shah Zoroastrian Temple in Urbada. Good morning, Dr. Kadri. His Holiness Pujya Swamiji, Oswald Cardinal Garcias, Dr. Satyapal Singh, Sardar Talochan Singh Ji, Dr. Badan Tanand, Dr. Ved Pratap Vaidik, Sadhvi Bhagwati Ji, Sudendra Kulkarni. Let me start with a wonderful prayer in our religion. Hama Zor Baud, Hama Zor Hama Shobaud, Hama Zor Hama Neki Baud, Hama Zor Hama Kore Baud, Hama Zor Vesh Kerfe Baud, Hama Zor Kam Guna Baud. May we be united. May we be united with all righteous, with all virtuous, with all goodness in the world, with those of bountiful good deeds, with those of fewer sins. May we be united with the religion and attain salvation through righteousness. May we attain correct knowledge of the religion May we be united with Ahura Mazda, the radiant and resplendent. May we be united with the seven holy mortals. May we be united with the aura of good and righteous religion. May we be united with the good assemblies of good and pious religion of the seven regions of the world. This assemblies who firmly believe in the original law and faith, and the ones who firmly believe in the good religion. They with us and we with them are co-workers and doers of good deeds together. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent the community. You can Call us as a Parsi, a Bawaji, a Zoroastrian, or an Irani. A community which is a micro mini community in the whole world. We are 60,000 in India, and we are another 60,000 spread across the world. We left our ancient civilization and we came to India. And a good king gave us a refuge. But first he sent us the pot of milk, which was full to the brim, telling us that there is no place for us. Our forefathers just took a feast of sugar and kept in that pot and send it back. The message was clear. The milk has sweetened. Our community will sweeten India. We gave the promise. Hame Hindustan ra yar bashim. We will be friends of India. We will be friends of the universe. And ancient civilization, we are talking about community. We are talking about the religion. Ladies and gentlemen, my forefathers, my religion, which was there in Iran, the Aryan Avaja, we ruled Iran for 3,000 and more years. We came to this land 
and with so much respect the king gave us an accommodation not only that he gave us a place to build our own fire temple he allowed us to practice our own religion and this community as you know has left a mark of history on the soil of india as dada bhai nauroji said i am an indian first and then a parsi right now there is a exhibition of cyrus cylinder going on in the museum at the chhatrapati shivaji vastu sangrahalay that cylinder emphasizes the first human charter of the mankind sir when you said that we have to have human dignity there is no caste and creed there should not be any slaves where there would be diversity where the sharing of respect of all religion where there should be justice this all thing is prescribed on the charter of cyrus cylinder which is which was there which existed 530 years before christ in the akhamenian period we are from that noble religion we have always believed in peace we have not fought any war with anybody on the name of religion but our basic principle everybody will ask about my religion it's just this it's just humata hukta and varashta good thoughts good words and good deeds your thoughts are good you will speak good words your words and thoughts are good your deeds are good your actions are good the community has never looked for themselves this community has always given to the society you ask in philanthropy we have jj hospital we have the schools we have the dharamshalas we have the best of the science technological baba atomic research center this all came from the community a minuscule community in business we have the house of tatas the godrej the wadias you know go on and on and it will go on and on for the indian nation the services we have the field, first field marshal sham maneksha we have sp engineer we have admiral karshed ji we have the last air chief marshal fali major it goes on and on and that made mahatma gandhi said about the parsis in numbers beneath contempt but in contribution beyond compare <laughs> i am very proud to be your mr kulkarni to share this place amongst the great religion people of india where one aim has to aim for peace i don't understand why there is a bloodshed if all religion teaches peace if all religion teaches love when you are in need you take the blood from anybody you that time you don't see that whether you are hindu or a muslim or a sikh or a sai when you want a kidney transplantation for your dear ones that time you don't see which religion this kidney comes from you have to save your own people in the same way my fellow brethren let us start that 
Let us work like that. And I'm sure that there will be peace in the world. All men and women are members of one human species, one common stock and one family. The strong bond of common humanity unites them all. They are children of one common father. Brothers and sisters are they all and are interdependent in life. What is good for anyone is good for everyone. They prosper and they progress when they trust one another and behave with one another with brotherly and sisterly love. Life is full of trials and tribulations and unity gives them all strength to cope with them. It brings harmony and peace within their country and gives them security against outside aggression. Common interests and common hopes, common aspirations and common destiny led them all to combine and cooperate with one another. United by the bonds of mutual trust, minds confer with minds and heart work with hearts and they reap happiness. When disagreements in their ranks divide them and party strife gives them a shunder, they are weakened and they suffer. Bitter enmities mean jealousies and rancors, hatred, nor their vitals. Everyone is up against everyone else. The people of the world live upon a volcano. Strong nations crush weak nations, armed with deadly weapons of modern science, War has now become the most dreadful and diabolical in all history. In vain does the lasting peace hover about the distracted world. It finds not a place to land. May everything that is discordant and leads to the chronic disturbance of peace among people perish. That is what we pray. Thou does love all. Thou has commanded that we should love one another as thou does that we may be one with one another and with thee, our Lord. Thou hast poured thy love in every human heart that man and woman may mutually love one another and live as brothers and sisters bound by the indestructible bond of unity. It's all to work for communal, national and international unity that transcends all divisions and breaks all barriers of caste, color and creed. We long for the dawning of the day when man shall take man to his heart and woman shall take woman to her heart and walk on the earth as brothers and sisters, united in thee, thou father of all mankind. Lord Ahura Mazda has put love for one's country in every human. Thou has made the land of his birth dear to man. Aryan of Aeja, the stem land of the Aryans, was the best of all lands, says the Vanira of our holy scriptures. Iran became the primitive fatherland of our ancestors. Here was made our history over 3,000 years and more. Our great empire fell in the 7th century, leaving us the priceless patrimony of the heroic deeds and noble ideas of our Iranian forefathers. The proud memories and sweet recollections of unforgettable achievements of the Peshdadian and the Kianian, Akhamanian and Sasanian still cheer us, enthuse us and inspire us. When our national greatness and glory were lost beyond recall, thou in thy mercy did not forsake us. Thou did guide a noble band of exiles to the hospitable shores of ancient Hindu land. The hymn of Shrosha recited by our some 3,000 years has familiarized us with the Hapta Hindu or Sapta Sindhu, the land of seven rivers. Our forefathers adopted this country of the Hindus as our new home. This was 1,300 years ago. Here have our fathers lived and died, and their ashes lie mingled in the Indian soil. India is our common motherland, and we, of various castes and creeds, are all her children. Patriotism is colorless and creedless. It is the common civic religion that unite all races and communities of the country under one flag and one destiny. Let us always pray for the union of hearts, that goodwill may reign supreme between the various communities of diverse faiths and weave them into one Indian nation. 
Let Indian nationality be founded on the political unity of the people that inhabit this country. A millennium and more ago, our fathers, the early settlers in India, hailed this country as the new native land. Let us then leave not exclusively our communal life, but let us leave as a part of the great Indian nation that is in the making. Let us serve our country to the best of our ability. Let us sacrifice to the best of our ability. Let us sacrifice our good to the good of our country. Let our private interests yield to public interests. As citizens of the soil, let us pledge our all to the common good of the country. Let us work with all our heart and all our soul for the achievement of this country. Great was India's past. Greater is to be her future. Let us contribute our share to the making of her future greatness. India is the land of our hope and our happiness. Our life belongs to our country. We will work to promote peace and well-being of our country. We will love India. We will serve India. We will stand by India. We will sacrifice our all for India. For India is ours, our own now and forevermore. I would like to end with a perfect thought and a perfect wordings of my prophet Zarthustra in the second chapter of the Ustavaiti Gatha. Ushta mai ya mai ushta kamai chit. Happiness unto him who brings happiness to others. Peace unto him who brings peace to the others. Atar zamiyat, atar May it be so as I wish. Thank you very much. Thank you.